Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 117 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career and we are heading into the new year in today's episode which means the January transfer window will be opening uh, just after this game in fact. So let's try and end the year on a high and get the victory against West Ham United. We are at home, glorious sunshine as you can see and we also have the best defensive record in the Premier League so far this season and it conceded 7 goals all year which is pretty sweet. Um, so let's finish the year on a high as I said try and get a couple of goals as well for Kai going into the new year which is what 2024 it will be and uh, so we are getting through this career pretty sharpish as we have ourselves an early free kick here two and a half minutes gone we did score an early free kick uh, well from a set play against Crystal Palace I believe it was in the last episode can we do the same again today oh, almost the goalkeeper diving out there like Superman manages to get the ball clear and now West Ham United well are they going to lose it Mesut Ozil was there applying the pressure oh, and Arsenal do win possession back so five minutes gone all the early possession has been from the Arsenal as Musa has picked up an injury here for West Ham United so has he been replaced it might have been replaced to be fair. But half an hour gone and West Ham, they have themselves a free kick in a dangerous area. It's going to be Gabriel to stand over it with Dendonka. Well, yeah, Dendonka. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Can West Ham United take the lead? Against the runner play as well to be fair. They do take the shot and it's on target. The goalkeeper was there. He had to tip that one over. He might take the woodwork anyway or possibly gone over. Let's have a look. He might have even crept into that top corner. Yeah, it was a good save there from the goalkeeper, Zoet. So it is going to be a corner hit for the Hammers, which is swung in and headed behind for, again for another um, another corner. Semedo was there defending well for Arsenal, but we're going to progress on now into the final five minutes in this first half. And here's Alex Oxley chamberlain now for the Gunners. Now Ozil finds Kai in space, who tees it up for... Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Arsenal still pushing forward here, playing a little bit patiently. Holding up play there from Kai. Gets past his man. He needs to get it across the middle. He does the goalkeeper, makes the save, parries it across the six yard box. And Meza Ozil should have really put that one in to the back of the end to go. Look at that. Oh, it actually took a deflection off the defender. So great defending there from West Ham. Uh, but it should be 1 0 to the Arsenal. Meza Ozil, he's not going to be happy with that. Great defending though, what a block it was. And it's going to be a free kick here to West Ham. So into the second half now, here at the Emirates Stadium. Still looking for that first goal of this game. Who's going to come out on top? Surely it's got to be Arsenal. Granit Xhaka plays the ball forward for Kai. Kai, nice ball forward there for Renato Sanchez. He's waiting for the pass back. He does get it back and Kai slides in to put the ball into the back of the goal. And Arsenal finally take the lead. Just over an hour gone. It's now Arsenal 1, West Ham United 0. Good link up play there between Kai and Renato Sanchez. And a beautiful ball just over the legs there of the goalkeeper. And it goes into the back of the net for Kai's 15th Premier League goal of the season. And how many more is there going to be? And it could be, obviously, his last game in an Arsenal shirt, this one, depending if we get any offers on the first day of the transfer window opening, uh, which I don't think we'll do, we will. I think it will be a couple of games before we get uh, an offer, but we'll wait and see. Maybe we'll get one um, later on after a couple of more games, and that one goes out of play. So, end of the game, Arsenal do take the three points, of course. We win one goal to nil. Kai with the only goal of the game, finishing the match with an 8.0 rating. And next up for Arsenal is an away game to Leicester City. So it is January the 2nd, which means, of course, the January transfer window is now open. We haven't got a offer so far, two days in, but plenty of time for that. And we can wait till the end of the month, or maybe even wait till deadline day like we did in the summer. But that is a little bit risky, as you know. We had a couple of big offers come through, but then... The last two or three were pretty poor offers, which we couldn't go for. Now, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we do stay at, Ars stay at Arsenal for the rest of the season. We are in great form right now. Both the team and Kai are performing pretty decently. And Kai's on his best run of form for goals as well right now, as well in an Arsenal shirt. So, like I said, if we don't move, it's not the end of the world. But I think some offers are going to be coming in. And they may even come in in today's episode. As Kai takes a long range shot there. He does take a deflection and goes over for a corner kick for the Arsenal. 
Can we take advantage and get this first goal of the game? Cross comes in, headed behind again. So poor corner there. Arsenal really not the great at taking corners, to be fair. We've got ourselves another one as the rain starts coming in. Boga again, crosses, headed away. Didn't even find an Arsenal man, but Arsenal in possession now, though. Here's Kieran Gibbs. Scored a couple of goals in the last episode, as you may remember. He scored one when we was playing in the match, and then he... As the AI simmed the game, he also got a, game, a goal in that one. So two game, two goals in a row. Uh, Kieran Gibbs got, but none today so far. And as you can see, half an hour gone. And Arsenal are only attacks been all Arsenal so far, to be fair. A cross comes in. Good save there from the Leicester City goalkeeper, Zila. Or Zyla, however you want to pronounce it. Dembele plays for Leicester. Not entirely sure how well he's been doing there. And here is Kai. Good hold-up play. Decides to pass it backwards to Cockland. Now El Nene. Finds Kai in some space. Good little one-two there between Boga and Kai. Now Kai and El Nene. Kai gets it back. Good bit of skill. Sure, it's going to be 1-0. No, how did he miss from there? He usually puts them away into that top corner. But just over the crossbar this time. And the score remains Leicester City nil, Arsenal nil. We've got just over 20 minutes to play in this Premier League match. And it's Boga now for Arsenal. Guy's in space. Is he going to get it? He does. And that's a beautiful through ball. First time shot there from Maitland Niles. Don't know why the AI late like to take those first time shots. They had so much space to run into, but he sad to sit it first time. And obviously, too much power, and it goes over the crossbar. And the score remains Leicester City nil, Arsenal nil. Come on, we've got to get a win here. Nice ball, great play there from Kai. Maitland Niles plays it through from Mustafi. What is Mustafi doing in the striker position? Obviously, Austin Wenger has told the defence to push up as far as they can. He really wants his three points, but with less than five minutes to play, it doesn't look like anybody's going to be winning this one unless unless Leicester City have something up their sleeves. They're pushing forward. They're the ones in possession. That's a poor ball. Now Arsenal on their counter-attack. Here's Danny Welbeck. Played the ball forward for Mustafi, who's still up in the striker position. Massive gap on this near side. Can we go through as Maitland Nas? He crosses and there's Kai with a header and it's in. We have stolen, stolen the three points in today's game. Away to Leicester City. A minute to play. And it looks like the three points are ours. As somebody revs up a motorbike outside. If you can hear that, I do apologise. But let's carry on with this game. 16th Premier League goal of the season then for Kai. Absolutely fantastic from him. I didn't think the goal was going to come, but in the last minute, Maitland now as it was with that little dinked cross, and Kai was there with his head just inside the six-yard box, I think it was, or just outside uh, to head it. And he doesn't score many headers, so it's also nice to see him get a headed goal, and nice three points as well. And we will be covering another game in this episode. I think it's against Norwich City in the FA Cup, as that shot goes over there by Mustafi. The final whistle blows, Arsenal take the three points, Kai finishing the game with an 8.5 rating, he did get the only goal of the game yet again, he is a superstar of the club of course, and now we do have a transfer offer, who is it from? Real Madrid, £375,000 a week they have, they have offered on my wage, and we've already played for Barcelona as you may remember, Real Madrid is very tempting to go to, but... For now, as it is the first offer, I'm going to reject it. We've got plenty of time. We've got a whole month still to play through. And I'm pretty confident that other offers will come in uh, before the end of the month. So we'll reject them for now. Maybe Real Madrid will come back in for us. And um, it could be one of the clubs that we go to. So we'll just wait and see. Uh, but obviously, if we do go to Real Madrid, Barcelona fans are not going to be very happy with us. But many players have done it before in the past, played for both Barcelona and Real Madrid and we've done it as well in previous my players I think it was uh, FIFA 15 we played for both sides we did pretty well actually for both sides as well but we're going to reject Madrid for now and wait and see on the offer, other offers but let's concentrate on this FA Cup tie against Norwich City we are away from home could this be Kai's final match in an Arsenal shirt if it is let's try and get Arsenal through to the next round of this competition Arsenal are the most successful club in the FA Cup, of course. And can we add to that in this match? As Kai goes through, the shot comes in. But a good save there from Rudd. He parries it out. Still in play, though. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain fighting there. And he's actually won Arsenal a penalty. Just over half an hour played. Arsenal have a penalty. I'm sure it's going to be Kai who steps up for this one. 
Good play there from Alex Oxley chamberlain he, he initially lost the ball, got back in there to win it back, and then a defender took him down. And here it is, and the penalty kick. It's going to be Kai. He steps up for Arsenal. He's had a quiet game so far. He's only got a 6.1 rating, but he puts it into the back of the net. And look at that. His rating jumps up to 7.4. And there are the away fans looking very happy with that goal, of course. And another goal. First FA Cup goal of the season for Kai. Could be his last as well if we do leave and leave the Premier League. So into the second half now. Not really had much action since that penalty goal. And we've got just over 10 minutes to play. Arsenal still leading by one goal to nil. As Arsenal win possession at the back. Cochrane plays it forward for Kai. Ooh, opening up a bit here. Renato Sanchez got a lot of space to run into. Kai Zay's on side as well. One on one with a keeper and it's Kai. He slides it past the keeper. And that is going to wrap this game up. 2-0 now. Less than 10 minutes to go. And Arsenal are going to be going through to the next round of the FA Cup. Good assist there as well from Renato Sanchez. Probably one of the best players in career mode. And he grows pretty nicely as well. His stats are fantastic in career mode so if you do play career mode and you haven't already tried Renato Sanchez then make sure you do because he grows nicely a good investment if you want him for a long career and what well, we've got a minute to play and we're still leading by two goals to nil possibly looking for a third Kai is looking for a hat trick of course I don't think he's going to get it but we are pushing forward here and Renato Sanchez plays it through one on one with a keeper again and he does he finds a hat trick into the 90th minute, it's Norwich City nil, Arsenal 3. And just speaking of Renato Sanchez and how good he is, he's just put in Kai to score his hat-trick. And that is his second assist of the game. Defence nowhere there, to be fair. Norwich not really doing much to defend that one. So, three goals in the FA Cup in this game. Nice little hat-trick. And if this is going to be his final game, what a way to go out with a hat-trick. And obviously, he's going to be taking the match ball as well, no doubt. And the final whistle blows, Arsenal win three goals to nil. And there is Kai going over to the referee who hands him over the match ball. He did get a hat-trick, of course. So, let's see. The 10 rating he finishes the game off with. Do we get any more transfer offers? That's the important thing. You want to see that before we end today's episode. We've got another cup game coming up. That is in the EFL Cup. I think that's the semi-finals. We have a transfer offer coming. Who this time? It's from Real Madrid again. They're offering the exact same. But I'm going to do the exact same as well. I'm going to reject it. Hope for a better offer in the coming weeks. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like this episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.